Okay, my friends, this is going to be fun. What is a protein a biologist explains? Well, the problem is, is that biologists, they get what a biology tells them about how things interact in the body. And that's very, very important. However, you also need to be a physicist. You have to understand how the physics of electronics works and how molecules are really constructed and what even a nucleus is and that is not understood at all it really isn't and you also have to have chemistry you have to have all that stuff all of that has to be fully understood and then you have to understand the anatomy in such depth that you understand where these bio or these proteins live how they interact how they are built those are the building blocks of everything and there's between 20 and 80 thousand of these different extremely elegant molecules and they are literally a program code so you have to know programming too let's take it from the top all right i'm going to make this really simple because it is simple there's a bazillion different types of bacteria Modern researchers are learning that bacteria are not a simple form of life. A bacterium is a tremendously complex creature that thinks. Scientists have discovered that bacteria actually have molecule-sized sensors. Some of these sensors act as eyes while others act as ears. Let me show you something from, I think it's UCLA, hold on. All right, this is Go Call, and I, it's either UCLA or, or one of those out there. Listen to this. The hair on my hands just stood up. It's a microscopic universe within each cell. This is an unprecedented view of the cellular world. This is the cellular wall of a single cell, and these are the little bacteria and the, the, the workers, literally the workers, that are within these fluids that are scooping up whatever is needed to deliver it out, to whether it detoxify something or break something down, digestive, mucus, whatever it is. Now listen, watch. Where we can actually see immune cells scooping up sugars in the ear of a zebrafish in real time. Focusing only on the crawling immune cells, we've noticed two classes of them. One seem was not hungry at all, but it was very active in terms of trying to figure out, you know, what the environment is. There was another one that was kind of sloshing around with a lot of food in its belly. We can actually conceptualize and visualize and analyze the contents of each of these cellular compartments in this problem of the immune cell. All right, when he said the first time one of them is out just sniffing around, it doesn't eat anything. It's just going out ex examining what's needed to keep the environment safe. <laughs> I mean, now, the other one goes and scoops up all this stuff. He's saying sugars and so forth. Well, maybe it is, but it could also be scooping up mucus. It could be scooping up toxic things to go out and deliver to break down other stuff because it, it's so complex these molecules it, it, they're just starting to understand this even the name of this says your textbooks are wrong this is what cells actually look like i'll just let him finish off watch as it's kind of you know scooping up its environment i mean that is a level of details no one's seen before we're living in a new era of cell biology Exactly. Now, this goes back about two years ago. But at that point, they realized what they had considered to be how the cells functions was not correct at all. Now, I know this is going to sound crazy, but I believe our bodies are nothing more than a place for bacteria to reside to make our bodies do what the bacteria makes them do. And if you don't have the correct bacteria in your body, you're going to be sick. And that's why probiotics are so important. And they, Because what do you think is running around in your body? That's not your body doing that. That's bacteria. They know it's bacteria now. Watch. Listen. Each cell. This is an unprecedented view of the cellular world where we can actually see immune cells scooping up. They're not immune cells scooping anything up. That's bacteria living within the immune cells that are scooping things up. Those are, literally, they're the workers. They're the chemists. They're the delivery agents. They're the plumbers and waste cleaner upper guys. They're the recyclers. They do every single thing in your body. And there is literally thousands and thousands there's more bacteria in you than there is you in you up sugars in the ear of a zebrafish in real time focusing only on the crawling immune cells we've noticed two classes of them 
one team was not hungry at all, but it was very active in terms of trying to figure out, you know, what the environment is. There's See, it's going out and searching for codes. If it picks up a code and attaches to it and says, oh, 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 that's not supposed to be there. You see, this is what it looks like. And that's basically, that's what DNA and RNA looks like. It's squiggly little different molecules attached in a certain sequence and they can read these sequences and if they bump into one well then they tell the other guys hey go start firing up the immune cells there's another one that was gonna so right there there they go now that is not your body doing that that is the things that are floating around in the cytoplasm in your body and the fluids and the blood and the liquids and are, are residing in these these cells in these immune cells in these lymphocytes and all these areas where that's their job is to live there in these membranes they're called membrane bound bacteria and they live here if they're dead and you need to call this guy to make whatever he's making now and he's not there to do it you're gonna get sick and if you don't have enough of them there to do the job effectively quick enough you're going to be overtaken and invaded. That's what having a weak immune system is, is having not enough workers to respond in a correct way and make the chemistry, which is so elegant, it's unbelievable. These, these little molecules do something within a fraction of a second that would take literally years and years to do. It would do it all by itself. It's a process of molecular change, and it would change, but these are catalysts that the enzymes, uh, uh, enzymes and catalysts that the bacteria create. And those are friendly bacteria living in you. They can also be bad bacteria that come in and attack you with these kind of things. But you should have enough in you to fight back better than what's invading you. Because you're not going to be invaded by bucket loads of stuff at a time. You're going to get slowly invaded. And if your body can respond quick enough, you won't get invaded at all. It'll kill the stuff off. And then it stores that memory of that sniffer guy that says, oh, I remember that. It's a blue, green, orange, yellow, two pinks, and a whatever. And that's the same guy. He's going to really try to hurt you. Go out and send out the zinc sulfite and, and it's dead.